tell from the title. Today we're going to be doing some creative building. Let's build on bolts. Now, basically, I got the idea for this uh, for this uh, thing for, because uh, well. I used to have this other world that I messed around in creative with, and I made some pretty awesome stuff. But when the new update, I think it was the new update that came out, turned almost every block into this that I had placed into this uh, just plain white block. So all the concrete bunkers, all the barbed wire, not it was not really anything that wasn't just a re it was pretty much only things that were reskins, like barbed wire, which is a reskin of glass and um, s such but um yeah so that's enough describing what I'm talking about let's um hop right into this this world will be uh, volts volts let's pla uh, great okay so yeah wait you might not be able to hear me very there we go. That's probably better. I think that's probably better. You may hear my breathing a little more, but this is the only way that I know of as of right now to actually remedy the uh the volume issue. I'm not quite sure if it's even working right now. It's just in some raw footage that I have, um it seems to be louder when I do this. So if it does sound like I'm eating my mic uh, I'll try and fix it some other way, but as of right now, this is all I know how to do. And here we are. Our world is loaded in. Oh. This is horrible. Yeah, we can, we can work with this. We can work with this. Um, okay, so. This is kind of cool. So it's like a, um. A big river with big snowy place in the middle uh... and some jungle over there so we're gonna have to come up with a basic idea of what we want to do here now i think over in this um, this will be like the, a big bloody battle zone this big uh... this snowy forest here there will be mines set up. We'll set up some mines. Um, there won't be any bunkers, but we're gonna have barbed wire traps and and poisonous spikes and all that. Um, one team is gonna be like a guerrilla fighting force deep in the jungle of jungle land over here. I'm, I'll try and figure out where I'm going to put their main base and get that all set up for the next episode. Don't know which, what we'll be starting on. Um, and up here in this forest, I guess I can start clearing out some trees, because I'm fairly sure that the, uh, the, um, actually let's just check. Oh. No, it's not on. I thought this had... Oh, no, that's... Sorry, I've been playing a lot of, uh... Tech It Light lately. It's pretty fun. Um, yeah, so these trees can serve... It. Ooh. Well, isn't this good? Um, we, yeah, we can build some silos in these mountains. Some, uh... Secret bunkers. We can work with this. Okay, so... Um... <coughs> Starting out, I guess, let's switch over to creative mode plus here. Um, let's go and try to find... So, you're starting a war. There's people hiding it. You would want to surround them and make sure they... You'd, you'd want to set up a good perimeter. So, um, why don't we start out making some goat towers, just so we can scout out a good perimeter. Um, I've made some of these before. Now I used... Um, 
these wooden posts um, set noise clicking noise is that the chicken? I've never heard that noise come from a chicken before that's weird it's probably those new noises added um, <coughs> and some of that we'll also need some wood light and dark, some ladders some just normal fences, we don't need this um... there we go and some half slabs is always nice some nice half slabs uh... yeah that should be good for now um... But first, actually first, what we're going to do is gonna grab some very light colored blocks, some diamond blocks, and we're going to mark out where our towers are going to go. So, I think one of them should go here. This looks like a very defensible area. Um, now I want these towers to have a 3x3 three three or maybe even 4x4 four four base. I think 3x3 three three will be fine. So just make a 3x3 three three thing out of diamond blocks so that we remember and it does show up on our mini-map. Um, now let's put another one over in the desert over here. Because they need they need to not be really close, but they still need to be within, at a certain distance that it would be hard to um, escape their vision. It would be hard to sneak by. So I think we're going to put the next one right here. Um, there we go. Um, let's look back at our map. So we're putting them about that much far away. Uh, we don't want it to be too close, or they'll be able to just shoot the uh, scout out of the tower from one of the trees. So I think we'll put the next one around here. This looks fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Um, now I'm not sure how far I want these to extend. Um. I think the next one will be um, here. We'll have like a uh, gatehouse across the uh, the shallow part of the river. Um, what's this? Where can we put this? We can put it right here. Let's mark it with diamond blocks where it's going to be going. So this is going to be a large point because they can quickly just speed down the river. It's hard to swim after somebody in a boat. So there's going to be a um, bridge watchtower sort of thing there. And um, this is going to be very strategic because it leads right into their territory. Um, yeah. This could be a good spot for a base later too. Um... So yeah, I think I'll get back to you guys when I have all these spots set up. Okay, so what I think we're going to be doing here is this is going to be a bunker. I'm not sure if it's going to be this size. It might just be a tower, a, a concrete or stone brick tower. Um, I'm not sure yet. So as you can see, I've um, placed them out. I thought this was pretty cool. It's like a uh, pit here. Maybe it's like a, uh, maybe they're fighting over it. I don't know. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to start laying out some, uh, some, I think this is going to be a tower, a small tower. So we'll just come over here. Oh. M. Waypoints. Okay, add. Or one 
Um, let's make it purple. This is going to be the white team, I guess, not purple. So this is white team. All their stuff is going to be white. Um, <coughs> and again, this is just the size of the platform that the sniper scout guy is going to be on. One thing th I think they should probably add to this is weapons, like besides this, besides the power tool, um, and the rocket launcher and grenades, because they need guns of some kind. Um, they have the electric bow, and the default Minecraft weapons, and then they have the melee weapons. But that's, they need guns. They, that's something this mod is lacking. I was thinking about putting rail guns in these towers, but the amount of, um, but to be able to shoot fast with that gun, you need a lot of power, and you'd have to have a big field of stuff. So, let's just set up our next, um, waypoint here. Add, um, this is going to be, um, watch one, because this is a watch post, watch tower sort of thing. The next one is in, is guarded by this little, uh, it's not so much a forest, it's a wood. Um, yeah, I'll get back to you when I'm done all this. Hey, so, um, yeah, I'm done with the waypoints, as you can see. Um, we have eight watch, uh, posts so far. Um, in a kind of crescent around here. There is swamp. They end at a swamp on both sides. Um, so, yeah, that's where their line of watch stops. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the swamp. Um, I'll come up with a story why they don't actually go into the swamp. I don't know. But, um, yeah, one interesting thing is if we go over to Gatehouse 1 over here, and I actually have not named a couple things over in that general area around there because if we go over to where's gatehouse one let's watch three which oh there's gatehouse one so yeah see it's in a river now there are more rivers coming out of this jungle than just that so yeah basically what I'm wanting to do here is whenever there is a river they're gonna have a gatehouse to stop people from going up on the river now here there is some watchtowers so they don't have to worry quite so much about this part of the river but what if they went through this snowy part up into here and then continued along the river well there's this cool little uh, place right here I cut off all the cut down all the trees here um, I was thinking we could build a big fortress here, so have a big fort here and then have two smaller gatehouses coming off here. No, these are not going to be made of diamond again, these are just to mark things out. Um, so yeah, um, now th this, I'm not going to be really building anything this episode, this is really just a introduction to the um, idea of it. I haven't seen anybody else doing this. I haven't seen anybody doing it. Um, I think it's a pretty good idea. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, so I think this isn't going to be a full episode. I'm not sure how long I've been recording for. I haven't been doing that uh, thing with the... Um, with the uh, timer it was horrible it, I always forgot that it was going and then it rang and then it just made the video awkward and bad the video is already bad because of the sound quality so which I think I'm gonna fix if anybody has any really good mics that aren't ten thousand dollars I'd appreciate hearing it I hear Astros are decently good I don't know about sound quality though that's the thing like for me um, my Steel Series sounds great, but again, microphone. I might need to buy like a uh, 
an actual mic. Ugh. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so that's the basic idea of it. Um, next time I am going to be making the watchtower. Making the watchtowers, I should say. Watchtowers. Um, eight of them in total. And then I'll copy here. I might even get started on the gatehouse. Uh, we'll see how that goes. So, yeah. I've been uh, Owen Vos. Um, yeah, this is Volts. Have a nice day. See you later.